Hey everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to more Subnautica. In the last video, we escaped the very depths of the world, our first venture down there. Certainly not our last, but we made it out with a good store of kyanite and other really good resources, and we discovered what <laughs> lied deep down there, the, the terrifying kraken creature and we survived being in its proximity, which is an achievement all in and of itself. And now we're back here at the base. So in between videos, and let me just say, I'm going to try to keep this intro brief because the latest video I edited was like, uh, we had a, there was like a 20 minute intro, me going over like what I did in between videos and then what the plan for the video was. And I don't want that to be the case now. So we had Kyanite. I used it to make upgrades. I got the the full depth module range made for the, the prawn suit. So we made the MK3 ultimately. So now that thing can go to seven uh, 1,700 meters below. I don't know if we'll go anywhere that's that deep. I, I certainly hope that we don't. Uh, but I guess like the, the lava zone was like f about 1,300 below. So... Uh, I don't know, but we have the deepest thing with that, which is good. Uh, also, between videos, I was like doing a little bit of exploring, just trying to get resources and whatnot, and I found the sonar upgrade for the oh, excuse me, the Cyclops, and it was actually like in a wreckage that was in the Blood Kelp Trench, and I don't know how I missed that, like all the times I went down there, but I found it. And I built that, so now we have a sonar on the Cyclops, which I will show uh, the next time we take that out. And also in between videos, I'm trying to think if like I made any more upgrades. Oh, I did make this. Yeah, the ultra high capacity tank, which we've had that for a long time, but I just never used it, which is kind of dumb in my opinion, because it increased our oxygen capacity by like 100 so, like, it, it would have been so useful at different, like, points prior to this. Uh, so, what I did was I, I swapped out this for the lightweight one. And it makes a noticeable, like, difference in your speed. Because if I go out here, I move much slower. Which bothered me at first. But then I was like, well, it... it Moving slower is kind of canceled out by just having more oxygen, and plus it makes the the sea moth just or the sea glide just more viable and and useful. Because I hadn't been using that for a while, because we were pretty fast as it was. So yeah, and then I think that's about it. Like upgrade wise, if I think of anything else, I'll point it out. But I think that was pretty much it. Nothing new with the sea moth. Nothing really new with the base. One thing I do want to show, because I mentioned this in, like, the last video, but I didn't actually show it. I made this a little bit ago. This is the nuclear reactor. And when I built this thing, it increased our power capacity by, like, I think that 2,500. And what you do have to do is make these reactor rods, which I've had this for a long time now and hasn't run out. So I think... It's like an indefinite power source. But again, I'm not entirely sure about that. But yeah, I don't know if I need to add more of those. If it'll like increase the charge capacity. But that's that's what we have. And that's all that I have in this room. Because I didn't really know what else to put in there. And I think that's it. As far as base upgrades go. And one thing I did do in between videos that didn't directly involve the game I kind of like went through and outlined basically the rest of the playthrough because I have a, a good sense of what we need to do to finish things up and part of that like we're gonna have to build a lot of things so what I did in between videos was I went and collected a ton of resources and I kind of made some of the more advanced components like the wiring kits and things in advance and I have them stored like up here in the storage room which I don't know if I actually showed this let me let me show you what this is I was gonna like expand the base even more than just this portion but I'm like 
I don't really know what else I'm going to put in here. So it's kind of like, is there really a point at this at this late in the game? But yeah. So anyway, I, I just made like an extra storage thing because I had originally I just had an abundance of gold and I needed somewhere to put it. And that was like on this wall. But I did use up a bunch of that gold when I was preparing all of these components. But yeah, these are like in-game storage chests. And we'll come and get stuff from those later on. So I did kind of look up what I need to build certain things. Not necessarily the things I need to build. But just knowing what I needed for really important late game components. So that way we're just prepared and I'm not like stumbling around trying to get things I need to build because in my opinion that just kind of slows down the the pace of the video so and that's pretty much it all of our like stores of things have been wiped out like I had one extra kyanite after preparing things and we still need more like we need I think like four or five more kyanite to be able to build the final things I, I want to build but some of these things, like like nickel, <laughs> we don't have any extra. So, And I don't really plan to collect a lot of resources, just things that we still need, like, like the kyanite, for example. But those things should be few and far between, which will be good. Uh, something else real quick I want to point out. And I didn't show this, actually, but in one of these storage containers, yeah, this one. I found this egg and I was curious because I thought it was really cute and I'm like well this is really unique but this is actually a cuttlefish egg which is something you can grow or not really grow but you can you can put it in a alien containment unit which we haven't found that yet but we are going to in this video but you can put it in one of those containment units and it and it like hatches and it's a little companion pet. And I was like, what? Why haven't I gotten that up to this point? Like, that would have been so cute to have. But we're definitely going to have that by the end of this video. So, I'm excited for that. So, basic plan for the video. Um, there are some more Degassi, Degassi, Degrassi, I don't know how they want you to pronounce it. But uh, there's a couple more of those bases that we haven't found yet including one that's still in the jelly shroom cave which i thought we had explored that completely but i was wrong so we're definitely going to go back and and get the stuff that's in that base and then there's going to be another base near the the deep grand reef which i think we've gone to that no we have gone to that area before i don't specifically remember for what but we'll get that and I so we'll get those things we'll get the alien containment because I know where that is we'll hatch ourselves a cuttlefish and then what I want to do is go to some other locations on the map that we haven't gone to like some wrecks some alien bases and I have a general idea of where those things are and that's like the last pre-collectible things like once we get the rest of the cyclops upgrades the rest of the blueprints and things and then we fully upgrade the cyclops we'll be pretty much ready to go down back to like the lava zone and do the rest of the game stuff we need to do there we also need to build ourselves the neptune rocket which we got that when we were on the aurora but that's how we get out of here that's how we leave the planet so that's a pretty big thing that we haven't even started building but we need to get on that pretty soon so Anyway, all of that said, let's get ready to head out. What I'm going to do is take the Seamoth. I could take the Prone Suit, but the Seamoth is just faster. And we'll have plenty of time to use more of the Prawn Suit when we go back down to the Lava Zone. Because that's what I plan to take. Maybe we'll take the Cyclops. But I don't necessarily feel like confident in doing that. Because, oop, did I put something in there I didn't mean to? Yeah. We need that flashlight. That's pretty essential. But yeah, like, we'll take the the, the Seamoth. 
because we'll take the prawn suit with us when we go deep. We can't really take the sea moth when we go to the lava zone because it can't even go deep enough, even though it is fully upgraded. So yeah, let's head off. And like I said, first things first, we're going back to the jelly cave because there is apparently more Degasi stuff that's there. And this isn't like necessarily necessary to finish the game, like getting all of the Degasi files or whatever you want to call it. But I just think it's like really interesting lore stuff to have. And we want to find out what happened to them. Because like just as a recap, the first Degasi stuff we found was like in this cave. We found, I guess, what is one of their bases. I mean, originally I thought it was like the only base down here. But then I discovered that there's there's more to it. Because I we're missing like logs. We have like... Bart's log one and then Bart's log three and it's like I was curious because it's like well where's his log number two uh so yeah Ew, I forgot how terrifying them the crab snakes sound even though like they're not that they're not even that deadly like they tend to pretty much leave us alone unless we get close to them Ew. Maybe I should take back that statement. Um, so yeah, we came down here because I, I had like discovered this area in between videos. And we found their base, which they were talking about how they had come down here and they were wanting to go deeper. So maybe they went deeper into this cave. And that's kind of where the other stuff comes into play. I'm not entirely sure. But, yeah. And then we went to the the mountain island once again. And we found more of their stuff there. And they were talking about how they crash landed there. Presumably because they got shot down by the same thing that shot down the sunbeam. Like, towards the beginning of this playthrough. So it's like those things were kind of related. And yeah, we have kind of a gap. Now here's something that we didn't see before. I bet there's more stuff here. Uh, just gotta be aware of all the crap that's swimming around us. Okay. Locked? Well, how could you? I don't know how, ba how big their base was down here, but there's like fragments of it everywhere. Okay, well, I don't think there's anything in here specifically. Um, and that box is open, so maybe uh, there's snakes all around me. Why would they build their base down here? Like, what? How do you think this is safe with all of the, the crabby dudes around? Like, why? Okay. Well, there was nothing there. So I guess we'll just keep on exploring here. Let's see. It's Mushroom Forest. Now I gotta keep in mind which way I came in. Um, okay. Okay. I'm just going to kind of swim around this area a little bit, see what I can find. And I guess I'll just, well, here's another thing. Did we see this? Well, there's a PDA thing, so we'll grab that. Maybe there's not a whole other piece of base. Oh, well, okay. Wow. Um, okay, well, maybe this is what we needed. Degasi Habitat. Where is... Wait. Is this the same thing we've already been to? Because if it is, like, that's kind of... It's kind of stupid. Because why wouldn't you... Like, you would... I would think you would just come down to here. And, and be in that same... Like, you would... This is, like, the first thing you should probably see. 
Huh. This is weird. Like, I don't know. Maybe there's, like, multiple entrances to this cave. But that's still... That's still weird. Like, I don't understand why that would be a thing. Well, I guess we'll see where this... The signal's coming from. Because maybe it is just different. Maybe what we found before was just a chunk of the base. I don't know. I can't really... No, yeah. We did come in here before. What? Okay, well, that's weird. Let me... Wow, I don't think we missed anything in there. But maybe I should just get out and check. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Uh, get in, don't get stung by the jellies. I got stung by the jellies, I'm being stung by the jellies, okay. Wow. That like wiped out half my health. Yeah, cause we got the water filtration system here. Uh, did I actually swim up to this part? Because this could be where I'm missing things. But that doesn't entirely seem right. No, oh, okay, well, here's the thing. Let's see, Bart Torgal's log number two, Stalker Teeth. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering. But I didn't have enough enameled glass. So... I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed. She dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other... Well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. What's the point in surviving here? If we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful. I wish I knew more about these animals. But father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Ooh, was that in the log, or was it just out there? Hmm. Okay, well, Marguerite was doing things, apparently. Like, helping Bart. I kind of like Bart, but we know what happened to him. Uh, he must have died of the infection, like, on the island. But, I don't know. Okay, let's see what this one is. Oh, part Torgal's log number two, Dilemma. And it gave us a signal? That's weird. Okay. build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. Now she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I'll hold Star Wars to Neptune, plus field to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne Arc. 30 seconds. Mader thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says Otherwise, I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard, or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, a mortal. A Maida is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. <laughs> Return to the island and hope whatever knocked the Degazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Mida just one thing. 
She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plus steel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet, they'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> huh. Oh gosh, the jellies. Oh, these things are treacherous. Okay. Well, that was kind of some interesting stuff. They they want to go deeper with the base, which I think we already knew that from one of the other logs. But they said it was like northeast of here, about a kilometer. I don't know. Let me see. Because I don't know if that's like where the other base is, which I was going to go there, but I don't know if there's... Like, I thought there was another log out here, like, near this base, but I'm not, not really seeing anything else. Because I think we've been into that room. Yeah, that was, like, up here. I don't believe there's a PDA just outside, but that could be worth double-checking. If we miss a PDA, it's no big deal, but I'm just... Like, I would prefer to have the whole story. So, so that was a modification station. Okay. Yeah. Stasis rifle, which we've never built, never used. Maybe that would be beneficial at some point, but I'm not all that worried about it. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see. If we look, so that signal's down there. I don't know if we can get to that through the caves. I don't, I wouldn't necessarily think so because the caves go deep, like not that way. I, I kind of think this is where the other stuff is. Yeah, fossil structure is that way. Or no, that's just where the other stuff is okay well, this is southwest that kind of makes sense based on where we are in relation to things hmm okay well I'm gonna do like a little bit of a sweep around here and then if I don't find anything else we'll just head out and go from there so yeah I'll be back in just a second Aha! Here's what we were looking for. So, <laughs> this to, to show you where this is in relation to the base, it's just right over here. I went, like, deep into the cave trying to find this, and then I came back, like, I was about to stop looking, but here we are! Oh, thank you. Okay, let's get this. Alright, speaking freely. Stay in this cave, his problem. I'm the one doing the heavy lifting. When sea monsters are hunting you, you don't hide. You hunt the sea monsters. Then you build a bigger boat out of sea monster bones and you hunt bigger monsters. Keep going until there aren't any monsters left to hunt you. I'm going deeper. I'm gonna find what shot us down and I'm gonna tear its damn heart out. I started the prep work. The kids taught me how to make enamel glass. I've started stockpiling metal ores to build myself a sea moth. I'll raid the indoor grow beds before I leave. Calorie intake recommended. Huh. Okay. All right. So, Marguerite is a pretty badass. She she wants to just take down 
the sea creatures before they take down you. And I can respect that, honestly. But it's a little foolhardy. But alas. Uh, okay, so one other thing I want to do, because I I did kind of look up the locations of the um, the rest of PDAs, and I don't have to sound so defeated or bad about that. Like, it's just what's needed, and especially since like there's actually another log on the mountain island that we didn't pick up, and I. It's kind of like when I found the location of it, it was understandable why I missed that. Okay, I always get nervous when I'm going out to this this island because I get like flashbacks to when I got destroyed by the fucking ghost leviathan. I don't want that to happen again. But, okay. Because we were like, well, but we were more... North of where we are. Okay, we're going in the right direction. But yeah, where this PDA is on this island is really, like, kind of dumb in my opinion. <laughs> and I, I understand how I missed it. Because it's just kind of, like, off on a trail. And you'll see once we get to it. I don't know how long this will take to find. But we're going to get this PDA. And then we'll go to the other place. And I know... Now, like, since I, I have, like, all the other PDAs, pretty much, like, all the ones, we'll, we'll actually have all the ones that are here, and then we'll have all the ones that, uh, we, we already have all the ones that were in the Jelly Shroom Cave. But, so yeah, I know for sure that the location that we got from that one signal PDA that we picked up, like, that'll take us to this other base, which is good. So that means I don't have to, like try to find that on my own but yeah so let's go through here try to find where these things are i need some some tree in my life because i'm about to starve oh it's so dark nighttime in this game is kind of unforgiving okay just glad that like this island has plenty of food because otherwise, we would be a little disadvantaged here. Okay. Alright, well, I am going to look around for these things. I'm basically going to make my way back to the top of the island where the, the bases are. Because that is on this island, right? It's not the other island. Crap. I should have I should have double checked that. I, I'm pretty sure it's it's this island, not the the floating island. But anyway, when I find those things, I'll meet you back, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so it turns out I was actually like going to the wrong island. Um, the other PDAs that I missed are actually on the floating island, and that's where the other Degasi bases are. Which I should have known that, but that's okay. So we're gonna we're gonna come up here and get these other PDAs. We're missing two of them. One is actually inside of the base, one of the bases, which I thought I'd explored those pretty well, but again, guess I didn't. And then the other PDA is kind of like off on a trail away from one of the bases, so it's kind of understandable how I would have missed that one but this is good uh oh my game is like dying okay it's fine what the heck how do i oh it's okay here's the correct path maybe one of these little paths is actually where the pda is i don't know we'll find out but yeah this is actually good because the location of that signal is like right below us uh I can show it. Um. What? I don't know why I can't see it from from here. Oh yeah, yeah, it's like literally right below us. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, the we're like right here, so it's not so much of a bad thing in my opinion. 
Yeah, so we're going to look for that PDA while also getting to the one bases we found. Like the first bases we found. They were kind of like in a trench. And yeah, because that's where the other PDA is. But yeah, so when I find these PDAs, I'll just cut back and then we'll go from there. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So I'm at the base and I found one of the PDAs I was missing. Curious discovery. Let's see. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside in the sand. Part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't going to find out we're staying here. Hmm. Okay, that was a really basic entry, but they're just talking about the purple tablet. Which we found those, and we found that one base that's like above sea level, so I guess it's not that surprising that they would have run into one of those. But, yep, okay, I'm going to keep looking for this other PDA, and then we can finally go down to this other base. So, I'll just cut back when I find that other PDA. Ha. Huh. Okay, I found me I finally found this other one and I wish I could show you guys where I am like more relative to things on the island, but honestly, I'm not sure. But uh well, let's just go ahead and pick this up. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay. See chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some 6 weeks later? Dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. Take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site. A couple hundred meters deep. Lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? Ready access to building materials? Like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, you got something better. Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. <laughs> uh, why couldn't they just talk about it? I mean, did did they really have to send it to his thing so he could review it? Nah, they just had issues as a as a a, a crew, and maybe that contributed to their crash. I don't know, but okay. So that's that one. And now we can head deep. I'm pretty sure... Yeah. That signal is actually where the the jelly cave was. So we don't need to go there. That one isn't really going to benefit us. Now, this other base... I'm a little worried about. Because it's really deep. I don't know what's exactly around here. I don't think there's any leviathans, but... I could be wrong. Uh, but I, I guess we'll just go and see what happens. We got the sonar, so we have that at least. Oh. Uh, I think we have actually been down here before, so... Perhaps I shouldn't be that worried. Oh, gosh. I'm nervous. Yeah, we have been around here because we found these things. That we still aren't quite sure what they are exactly, but... Ew, gosh. 
There was a scream. Okay, well, there's... Oh, gosh. Oh, it's a warper. Yeah, that's actually the name of those things. I did find that out. Okay. All right. Warpers. I can handle warpers. Now, where's that base? Hello? God, did we lose it? Okay, no, it's like still right below us. Oh gosh, I'm gonna bang this thing up until it's destroyed. Alright, well, here's a cave. Oh, okay. Slow down, you you putts. I'm just anxious and this is what happens. Okay. Oh, we got those guys. Okay. Just get in, get out. That's all we can do. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. They're all over the place. Here. Maybe this will do something. Or maybe not. Okay. What? I didn't hear that. Okay. Whatever. Just get in there. Oh. Okay. Let's just find what we need to find and then get out of here. God. Okay. Let's see. Data box. Okay. Well, that wasn't anything. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Please stop fighting and listen. We're sick. What? How? You've been coughing, right? Feeling itchy? Blisters? Yeah. The biomax expert of water separate is sick. It's not in the data bank. Come on, man. What's it gonna do? Turn us inside out. Dissolve us into jelly. It's an alien bacteria. It's everywhere. Every organism on this planet. Altering our genetic code. Uh, how are the creatures surviving if they're infected? Want me to cut some of them open for you? Find out what makes them tick? No. Just tell me what you need, sir. Materials, equipment. Just. Can I have some quiet? I need some time to think. Okay. I'm a little anxious because there's things all around us. And I think there's another part of this base. All right, I really need to hop into the the sea moth. Okay. All right. Yeah, we need to get to that other part up there. Can we get to it from in here? No, nah, of course not. That would just be too easy. Fuck. Okay. Oh, gosh. I hate that those things can just turn stuff off. Ew, look at it. It wants to consume my bones, and it's bumping around my sea moth. Oh, gosh. Oh, I should have had a, the stasis rifle. You can I scan you from in here just out of curiosity? Let's see. Hello. Okay. Can I actually open this locker? No. Okay. That's good. That's good. Everything's good. It's good. Please stay away from me. Oh, God. How do I get in? Oh, my God. Let me in, please. Please let me in. Just let me in. Where's my Seamoth? 
Uh, okay, to go. Oh gosh, anything here? That's good. Okay, well, there's a PDA. Jesus. Oh, they were not in a good spot. Oh, I guess that's what happens when you build your base, like, somewhere deep out here. Because, uh, I feel like where my base is, it's pretty... pretty safe. Alright, we really need to get in there, but I don't know how to get into this other part of the... the habitat. Alright. Let's refill our stuff. Okay. Let's figure this out. Ideally as quick as possible, because I don't like the things that are around here. At all. Ooh, there's a guy! <gasps> Ew, he's coming for my flesh! Oh my god. Okay. I thought for a second they were gone, but nope. Okay, hold on. God damn it. I don't know how to get into there. But it's right above us, but we can't get in. Alright, I need to quit being such a, a little wimp. Ew. Oh. Okay, it's still around. Hello? Can you please just leave me be? Alright. I'm assuming there's gotta be like a, a hole. Okay. I think I'm just gonna make a mad dash for it. Uh. Where's the entrance? 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 Please, 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 please. Where's the entrance? Oh. Okay. Okay. Please, where's the entrance? <gasps> There's the entrance. Oh, it's so small. Get in. Oh, okay, we're in. We're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. Okay. All right. Woo! Okay, what's this? Oh, alien containment. Yes, this is what we wanted. Hell yes. Okay, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. We just got a thing over there. Oh, crap. Okay, no, it's fine. Okay. All right. <laughs> let's, let's just take a breather. Let's see what this is. Cyclops shield generator. Yes. This is one of the big things we needed. Okay. Good stuff. Oh. All right. Oh, our oxygen's low. Fuck. I don't want to have to swim back up here. All right. Let's see if we can just get things real quick. The remainder of the things. PDA. Yes. Kill 
this disease without fish to study. I'm just bringing... What? Tell her. Tell her I'm right. You're both wrong. Marguerite, I can't find out how they resist the bacteria if you slaughter them all. It ain't always they oblige. It comes to surprise. They mention being seconds. reckless. Father, the outcome's no better if you come up in here and don't go outside. Now it's fine. Not while she's on my oh, sea base. Your sea base? I'm going outside. Oh. Oh. Bart, come in. It's dangerous. Damn it, boy. I knew you could hear me. Oh fuck. Okay. Uh they got attacked by something. That's that's great. Okay, let's see what this one is. Okay, um, so really good thing happened. I picked up an orange tablet, and that's that's a good thing. And I think we found another cuttlefish egg. I think that's what I picked up. Okay, we need to get out of here. My, uh, we got everything we needed to, and my anxiety is spiking. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh, there went our sea moth. Oh my god. Our Seamoth, no. Okay. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. That's, that's bad. That's really, really, really bad. Oh my god. Okay. If we could just get to the surface. I can rebuild another one of those. That's fine. Fucking crabs. Okay. Oh my god. Just keep going. stupid okay just keep going straight up oh my fucking asshole is inside of my large intestine okay 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 there's the island okay we're fine <laughs> we're fine uh... all right damn it our seamoth not again. <laughs> okay. Well, now we just gotta make a really long, annoying journey back to the base and rebuild our Seamoth. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Well, we got all of the, the things and we found out their story. So I think now, let's just go back to the base. Oh, I need a breath. All right, I'll meet you guys back at the base, and we'll go from there. Okay, so I made it back to the base, and, like, the first thing I want to do is build the alien containment. I haven't rebuilt my Seamoth yet, and there's a kind of a, a reason why for that, um, which I'll get to in just a, a second. But, let's go ahead and get this cuttlefish egg. Okay, we'll take that. I don't know what these other eggs are, and I'm afraid to, like, put them in there with the cuttlefish in case, like... I don't know. I'm just worried that it's, like, a carnivorous thing and it'll eat our little buddy. But, okay, I'm gonna put this thing in this room. I think that is 
appropriate. And for that, we need a two titanium and five glass, which I already had those things prepared, so no biggie. Ooh, that's ominous. Okay. So, trying to think of how we load this up. Maybe we have to do it from the outside. Let's, let's check. Shall we? Um, from the bottom? No, that's not right. Okay. What the heck? Hello, where's the loading bay? For the eggs. What? Maybe... Okay, hold on a sec. Let me go get one of those other eggs and maybe I can put those in there. But that just doesn't... That just doesn't seem right. Let's see. I know that this egg is a stalker egg, because we found it in, like, a kelp forest. And I got a feeling that it's just a big old stalker egg. Okay. This is weird. Huh. I'm at a loss. Honestly, at this point. Um... Okay, whatever. I'll figure that out in between videos, and then when I come back, we'll have our two cuttlefish friends all hatched, and they'll be doing... They'll be hanging out with us, so well, I'll do that in between videos. But for now, let's come back down here. Okay. Oh, my cat's, like, stuck between the window. In between the blind and the windows, I guess. Like, they're not literally stuck between the window, but... Oh... Okay, move your butt. Oh my god. What? What a disaster. Okay. Wow. <laughs> get get your paw. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. There we go. It's all good. All right. Now Let's let's play this message cuz I want to see what this is. This is life pod 2 coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Ah, okay. Well, this is good because these are Places we need to go to. Take those off. Yeah, or that life pod is one of the places I wanted to go to. Because there's good stuff there. But I know it's in a very treacherous area. And I, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to going there. But we will have to. Um, okay. So this recording has been going on for a little long. And I think I'm actually going to cut the video here. I was wanting to do way more in this video than I actually did. But that's okay. So... When we come back, we'll have the cuttlefish, and then we're going to go in the next video and just do like a mass collection run of all of these things. So, actually, you know what? You know, hold on. Okay. Before I end the video, I want to do a th something here. Let's start building the Neptune, because that's something really quick that I could do. And did that actually drop? Or did that just get... Okay, it's just there. Okay, good. Yeah, I want to build the Neptune, or get started on that, because we can do that, like, real quick. And that won't take very long at all. But I don't know which of these things we need, like, first. Because we can't build whatever is going to use the Kyanite. Okay. And I don't know, actually, where we need to, to build this. Let's just see. Cause I don't actually know what this would be part of. Because it can't just be something that we... 
that we build in the fabricator. Like, that doesn't make sense. Let's see. Exterior. No. no. Well, fuck, maybe it is. But that's just bizarre to me. That doesn't make much sense. Alright, let me actually drop off some things here. Because my inventory is like full. Ooh, that was weird. Alright, we'll put this in here. These two things. Okay, that gives us some space. Because I don't know how, many, how much space this thing's going to take up. If it's something we have to carry. Um, equipment? No, we can build purple or orange tablets now, which is cool. None of those things is there. What the f fuck? Okay, I know we got the blueprints for it. All right, hold on. Give me just a second. Okay, so it turns out that you build that from the vehicle fabrication bay. Which I don't know where that's actually ended up at this point. Because we haven't used that in so long. It, is it even a thing anymore? Did it get destroyed? Did I pack it up and put it somewhere? What? Alright, hold on. I'll have to look around and see where I put that. Because I'm actually not sure. Ah, okay, I found it. It's just not something that... Or wait, did I find it? Ah, okay, I found it. <laughs> it's just not something that appears on your map. Like, it doesn't have a beacon. So that was weird. I guess I brought it all the way out here because of the Cyclops. But alright, so we can come on here... And what what do you mean I what? I have those things, don't I? Oh, did I get out of the wrong thing or did I put things in the wrong Ugh, okay, this is a disaster. Alright, I'll be right back with the actual things. Okay, so it turns out I got supplies from the wrong locker, so <laughs> oops, but here we go. Launch platform. Oh, we got another thing on the radio. Uh-oh. Oh, God, and the game was frozen for a second. Damn, this thing is huge. Okay. Yeah, we're getting, like, all of these, like, radio broadcasts after not getting any for, like, seven episodes. <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining, but... Wow, that thing is large, but I guess it makes sense. Considering, like, we're gonna launch a fucking rocket from it. Boom! Nice. Good stuff. Uh, can I build the next part? No, I think I have to actually go on to that to do that. Okay, but before we do that... I want to come back and see what that radio broadcast is about. Because, like, it's weird that we would just get another one like that right away. I And I think you get your broadcast based on, like, things you do in the game. So it's like you trigger these, these broadcasts by doing things. And I, I like that. I like the idea of that happening. But, okay, let's see.
Ew, what the fuck? I, ugh. Dude, ugh. I don't even want to know at this point. I, I really don't. Okay. Take these things out. I actually know the gold we're not going to need. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> ugh. I think something's still after us, but hopefully we get out before, like, we get off the planet before they show up. Like, the worst thing I can imagine happening, like, okay, being underwater freaks me out, but it would just be terrifying if, if you took too long to do things, like, weeks, maybe a month or two passes, but, like, just all of a sudden, um, maybe you get a radio broadcast, and then they're, it's, like, aliens announcing that they're coming, but they just have a huge mothership that just takes up the entire sky and then they're here but i guess that wouldn't make sense because like why would they just show up here yeah anyway so let's go ahead and see what else we can build of this i know we can build everything but like the final piece because we needed more kyanite so let's see all right we're building the gantry next Oh shit, this music is intense. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was that was something. Progress is being made. We're gonna escape the planet. But we can't yet, cause we're infected, and that thing will shoot us down, and we can't turn it off until we're uninfected. <laughs> so uh there's there's barriers for us leaving but it's gonna happen i guarantee it all right next part is the boosters yeah hell yeah more intense music oh fuck this thing is massive okay i was when when we got the schematic for this i was not expecting this rocket to be massive i thought it was going to be something like you know maybe Maybe like a Pikmin-sized rocket. I mean, obviously, but scaling to us. But this is like... This is massive. Okay, there's the boosters. Ah. So, yeah, the next part is the fuel reserve, which we need kyanite for. And, you know, I could technically... Let me see. We could technically build that now. But I know we needed, like, Kyanite for one of the Cyclops upgrades. Uh, yeah, I think it was, like, the highest upgrade for the Cyclops. Which, do I really need that? Uh, I don't know. Kind of torn. Oh, but we also need ion power cells, which I don't think we have a schematic for yet. So, okay. Okay, fine. We'll just stick to the original plan. But, there we go. That's a pretty significant portion of the, the Neptune that we're going to use to get off this planet. Damn, it's massive. Okay, can we actually go up to this? I mean, I know it's like an incomplete rocket. So even if we could go up it, it's not like we're gonna be able to do very much. Okay, we can go up here. Wow. All right. Oh, and there's a sunset right there. Oh, that's beautiful. We'll be able to see like one final sunset before we leave. <laughs> oh, I like that. We're tall. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is like as good of a spot as any to end the video. So next time we'll show off our newly grown cuttlefish and then we will actually like go off. Well, I'll, and I'll have a Seamoth rebuilt before we start the next video, but then we're going to go off and uh, life pod two is definitely something we're going to, but then we're going to go to some other locations and get, the remainder of the upgrades for things. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.